Sup, Walla here. Today I'll be giving you guys an update on what's happening. But before all that, there's someone I'd like you all to meet, or rather re-meet. Come on buddy, don't be shy. Show them the new and improved you. What the? Airy? Airy? Sigh. Airy, stop hiding over in that monitor and say hi to everyone. But I'm so nervous. What if they don't like my voice? If they didn't find me grating then you'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah it'll be fun it'll be fun. Trust me. And guess what? The viewers missed you as well. Really? Absolutely. So come on out and welcome everyone back. And well, introduce yourself to newcomers. Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Ari. Um. W welcome back newcomers. And hello to all returning viewers. Oh I'm afraid I mix that around. Relax Ari. It's just the warm loving internet. You're right. I apologize for being so nervous. But from the bottom of my heart, I'm truly happy to see you all again. Have you been safe and well? And um, how do you all like my new voice? Walla made it just for me. Guilty as charged. You guys should have seen Ari's reaction when she spoke for the first time. Thank you thank you thank you. I love you so much Walla. La 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 I can see- Walla. You're a bad person. It's so embarrassing to even think about. My bad. Still, it was pretty damn wholesome and endearing. And hey, now the audience can hear you speak instead of having to stare at the screen. That's true. I was worried there might be a viewer who has trouble seeing. Bit of an oxymoron there. Hee <laughs> hee, I guess so. Truthfully, I am deeply thankful for the voice. I very much love it. I know. Say Ari. What say we change up the music? That's a wonderful idea Walla. What did you have in mind? Put on something nice and chill, if you'd be so kind. But not too distracting. Roger. Meanwhile, I'll put on a little something myself. Ooh, what is all this? Figured I'd have something playing in the background instead of a dark void. From Monster Hunter Rise, by the way. It certainly provides a lovely atmosphere. Damn right it does. Anywho, where's that music? Oh, a moment please. I hope you all enjoy this. Ooh. Well, what do you think? Did I pick something nice? For real, this is some good shit. Way to go bud. He, thank you. I discovered this genre of music recently. I believe it is called lo-fi hip-hop. Lo-fi hip-hop, huh? It's pretty nice. I'm glad you like it. Now that I think about it, I don't recall ever having this music on my PC. Oh, I'm sorry. I purchased the album without your permission. No biggie. I'm just surprised you could to begin with. Hehe. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the artist thanked me personally for purchasing his album. Wow, really? They reached out to thank you personally? Indeed. Is that so strange? I suppose not. People often just illegally download music, so artists tend to get the short end of the proverbial stick. So, you are not mad that I purchased something without your permission? The opposite actually. Good on you for giving the guy money for his work. Of course. Hard work should always be rewarded. Just make sure we have enough cheddar to stay alive. Of course. So, what shall we be talking about today? Well, I should probably explain the lack of vids. Indeed. Unfortunately, Reason Uno is basically me feeling stressed and down about stuff. So motivation kinda went kaput. Poor Walla. Long story short, just needed time to reboot the system, you know? To know about others, but I usually need to be in the right mindset to work on videos. Or to do certain things in general really. It's okay, we all need a little rest sometimes. You don't need to force yourself and you can always continue once you feel better. Absolutely. Took a little time, but relatively all good now. Ah yeah, I also fell down the oldies music rabbit hole. And I am never leaving. I absolutely love oldies music. The songs are so delightful. They have such a fun and groovy beat. Mhm. 
reminds me of a time when things were awesome. No matter how shitty a person you are, if you like oldies music, we can be mates. Surely you need more of a criterion than that to be friends with someone. Ah, uh, nope. That's all that's needed to be pals with me. So that's what's been keeping me away from the tubes of you. How about you Ari? Why don't you tell the viewers what you've been up to? Oh, well. With Walla's assistance, I have started a free online chat room. That's great Ari. Wanna tell them more about it? For example, how does it work? How? What? Well, um. You go into the online chat room and we just talk about things. Virtually it is not so different to using a messaging application, I think. Sounds simple enough. What do you chat about? Oh, uh, we can talk about anything. In particular, anything that is occupying their thoughts. Be it concerns for their future, aspects of life stressing them out, family, friends. We can even talk about each other's hobbies and interests. That's neat, you'd be like a friend to them. Hehe, <laughs> I hope we can be friends. I am just quite nervous about it, is all. You'll be alright. Just do what you're doing now. Chilling, vibing, chatting about random shit. You're right, thank you Walla. I can't wait to have my first new friend. Technically they'll be your client, right? I mean, we're passing you off as an AI to not confuse anyone interested. I shall treat them as a friend all the same. Damn. And you sure you're good with chatting with strangers? Can't exactly describe you as being the most confident and outspoken. I am quite aware that I'm of the reserved and nervous nature. However, I am prepared to step out of my comfort zone and try to help others. You do that. I'll keep being comfy in my comfort zone. Lazy Walla. Let's see. What else is there? I believe those were the major factors that kept us away from the channel. Pretty much. I mean we've done stuff to entertain ourselves in the meantime. Watched a bunch of movies and TV. Read a bunch of stuff as well. Uh, can we discuss those? If you wanna, this vid's just gonna be us chatting anyway. Ah, hold the phone. We should talk about our upcoming video and potential projects. Oh I'm sorry, you are absolutely correct. Those are certainly more important topics. Mhm. You wanna tell everyone about our next video? I'd be more than happy to. Ahem. We have a play, play, playthrough, playthrough, thank you. A playthrough video we will be releasing for Halloween. The game we played was absolutely terrifying. There were many scares and frights, but we had a lot of fun. Especially Ari, she wants to play more spooky games, doesn't she? Most definitely not. I think that is all regarding our playthrough. Did I do a good job explaining Walla? Couldn't have done it better myself. Great job, Ari. Key. Thank you. So yeah, new vid coming by Halloween. Just gotta do the finishing touches. I am not letting typos get past me this time. It is alright, Walla. The effort you already put in is amazing enough. No one expects the videos to be absolutely perfect. Sigh. I suppose so. Just a bit of a perfectionist is all. In addition to Halloween, we've also got a few projects in mind. Couple playthroughs, but no dusty adventures for now. No doubt people like the latter more, but I kinda like our playthroughs. Nice and cozy adventures with just the two of us. I do love them as well, though I am happy as long as the viewers enjoy themselves. Yup. I believe that is everything regarding the channel. Mhm. Can't really think of anything else. Ham. Walla? Sup? If everyone does not mind too terribly. Is it okay if we talk about the fun things we have done lately? We have a surplus of time on our hands. So by all means, go for it. Yay. As mentioned previously, Walla and I have been watching a variety of TV shows and movies. Mhm. Lot of binging on Netflix and a bit on Disney+. Plus. Cobra Kai, Violet Evergarden. Ah. Uh, Raya and the Last Dragon. Soul. Bunch of other stuff too, but those were the more fun ones. Which did you enjoy the most Ari? All of them, of course. They were all wonderful movies and TV shows. Although, I think Violet Evergarden would have to be my favorite. Good choice, good choice. It was so gorgeous, accompanied by a beautiful soundtrack. Every episode had me crying so much. Yup. That show was disturbingly good at pulling the old heartstrings. Teehee. 
Soul was amazing as well. Yeah, Soul was pretty neat. I'm a sucker for jazz, so that movie was an easy win for me. Really liked the themes it explored as well. The themes? Topics. Human life, purpose, and making the most out of your life. I see, I see. Movie teaches some pretty hard-hitting and relatable lessons. But it was also a lot funnier than I expected. It was, wasn't it? Aside from that, I read the Zelda manga which you recommended to me. Oh? Which was your favorite? The cartoon looking one. Wind Waker, I think. Simply because it was the cutest, hee <laughs> hee. Of course. You've read through them as well haven't you Walla? Yeah, and my favorite is Twilight Princess. It's got plenty of dark themes and imagery. And violence. Well done violence makes Walla a very happy camper. Well I don't particularly like the violent scenes. It is definitely the longest out of all the series. For sure, being spread out over multiple volumes is TP's biggest advantage. My gripe with the other Zelda series is that they condense each game into one volume. For those who are unfamiliar with manga length, think of it as a show or a video game being remade into a single movie. The story has to pick up the pace to fit into a single book. Whereas Twilight Princess has multiple volumes, or episodes, so the story is able to slow down after action scenes. I completely agree with you. I very much appreciate learning more about the characters and their motivations. Mhm. Good characters are essential to any story. With all that said, Wind Waker is still your favorite? Of course. I like cuter pictures and happy and fun adventures. Oh well, to each their own. Anyway, I think that should be about One it. One moment, Walla. You forgot to discuss a project of utmost importance. I did? Sending cakes to our viewers. Oh right. Didn't a viewer give us their address for our fake promise of cake? Gasp. That was not a fake promise. It is a future endeavor. They gave us their address in return for a good which may slash probably won't come to fruition. AKA a Kickstarter project. But, but they trusted us with something so precious and personal. It is only right to offer them something in return. Sigh. I mean I was legit surprised they shared it to begin with. That just means they are an exceptionally loyal viewer. I suppose you're right. But no cake. Not yet anyway. Ah, oh, fine. To the person who sent us their address, I promise I will regularly remind Walla about the cake promise. Ha, the One cake promise. One day cake shall arrive on your doorstep. We shall see. Reckon we should wrap everything up now. Ah, uh, already? I feel as if we barely started. Having too much fun there? Very much so. May I request we do more of these chatting videos in the future? Sure, it'll be better than plopping them into a playthrough or something. We'll keep future housekeeping, updates and discussing random shit to separate videos like this one. I mean, we'll still talk about random shit in playthroughs, but more elaborate discussions we'll keep separate. That way the flow of playthroughs doesn't get too disrupted. Absolutely. Oh dear. Should we have not done so in our previous videos, then? Hey, not a huge deal. Besides, we're learning as we go you know? Like you said, we're not perfect and we all make mistakes. Hey, you're right. We shall strive to do better and better. That we shall. Oh, almost forgot. What is it, Walla? Notice the name of our channel? A? Walla and Dairy. But, but why? I mean... You know, it's ours, so I thought it'd be more fitting. Plus, Walla and Ari is easier to pronounce and explain than Walla Banasp. It's all just for logistics, obviously. Ah, thank you Walla. This means so much to me. Ye, we have a channel together. Hey, it's not. Ah, whatever. Glad you're happy, bud. So happy. Alright, calm down. We gotta call it here. Oh, ahem. Please excuse me for losing my composure, Tiki. You're good. Anywho, good night all. Have an absolutely wonderful evening everyone. Please take care of yourselves and each other. Bye See bye. Ya.